So today we're replacing the motherboard on a Lenovo X230T uh, convertible tablet slash laptop. A customer brought this in stating that they had left it on top of their bed running and I believe that must have caused damage to the motherboard because it does not boot on anymore. Um, so we're, we're going to take apart the laptop. Uh, I do have a spare motherboard for this exact same model right here. So we're going to be swapping it out. A mess when I finally get a chance to take a look at the motherboard when we take this apart. If I can notice anything uh, obviously wrong that I can fix, then we'll address that. But otherwise, this will just be a tutorial on how to replace the motherboard. So the first thing we need to do is take the battery out. And next we'll remove the RAM cover. And we'll remove the one, two, three, four, five screws for the palm rest and two screws for the keyboard and another screw here, 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 and here. Now, next up, we'll remove the palm rest and the keyboard. You'll need something like a small flathead screwdriver to gently pry up on the keyboard at the base of the palm rest, and then you'll be able to lift it up like so and disconnect it from the motherboard. We have one ribbon cable here connecting the uh, touchpad to the motherboard. So you want to flip up the latch and pull out the ribbon cable. And we'll gently pry up the palm rest and put that off to the side. Okay, so now we have more screws to take out. Uh, so next we're going to remove this plastic piece here. Um, part of the just part of the laptop, I'm not sure what to call it. But there's a few screws holding it in place. We have one here, one here, and I believe another screw somewhere around here. I'm gonna take these, cable, thread these cables out and see if, I think it's around here somewhere. Here it is right there, we got one, two, three screws to remove. Now I'll take this flat guitar pick and I'm going to score around the edge of this plastic piece to gently remove it from the laptop. All right, if all goes well, you should be able to just pull it gently. Oh, first we'll have to disconnect these two cables right here. Or do we? No, we don't, sorry. Let's just gently take this out. And we'll place this off to the side too. Now we can take those two cables out that connect to the uh, LCD. So lift up the latches, one, two, and gently pull them out. And now we can get to removing the system board. So it looks like initially we have one, two screws to take out. So we'll go ahead and do that.
And we also have a screw here and a screw here in the PCIe or in the PCI Express card Express card slot. And now we have two uh, pegs here on the VGA display port that we're going to have to take out. And I'm going to get a small Torx bit to do that. It always helps to have a kit of uh, small bits to do these types of jobs. And in this case, this is a Torx bit uh, category T8, if that means anything. Either way, it fits. It's not a specific tool that you need, but it does the job quite well. So these two pegs are holding the motherboard in place um, right here beside the VGA port. All right, let's give this a, a gentle lift. Okay, so far so good. I think what we should also do is unplug the uh, power plug here from the system board as well. Gently thread that through. And I'm just going to gently tug on the cables, not too hard because I don't want to disconnect them completely. Okay, we'll plug that back in later. All right, so now right over here, we'll take the Wi-Fi card out. We're also going to take this screw out that's holding the Bluetooth card down. Okay, now I believe that's it. I'm just gonna gently remove this. You'll see how the board flexes a little bit. That's okay, just don't flex it too much to the point where you feel like it's gonna break. Okay, so hopefully we can salvage some parts here. I'll take a look at it a bit later and see if I can notice why it's not working. Um, but hopefully we can salvage things like the CMOS battery, the fan, heat sink combo, uh, the Bluetooth card, which I believe fell onto the ground here, but that's okay. And yeah. All right, we'll set this off to the side, find that Bluetooth card and get to installing the new board. All right, so seeing that this, uh, putting the uh, new motherboard, new used motherboard back in here is just a reverse process um, of what I just did taking it out I'm going to time lapse this part and I'll stop and talk if I need to. But otherwise, I'll see you at the end and we'll give this thing a test run. All right, so before I do anything else, I connect the Wi-Fi card and install a MSATA SSD. I'm gonna plug in uh, the keyboard and palm rest and install a RAM chip and just make sure that this boots up in the first place. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to post. We're able to access BIOS and the boot menu. Uh, the only thing to do now is, well, I may as well film the process of me installing the SSD and then we'll wrap this up and I'll put all the screws back together and we'll give a brief overview of the work today.
All right, so what we have here is a MSATA SSD. Uh, looks like it's a Samsung SSD, PM851, 128 gigabytes. So this is gonna be our Windows 10 boot drive. And it installs in the WWAN slot here on the motherboard, just right beside the Wi-Fi card. And you'll just need to source one little screw to put it in here, which I'm going to find. Here we go. Very easy to install. Sorry for the bad camera angle. I might have covered that up, but as you can see here, the MSAT SSD installs right beside the Wi Fi card here, which I just plug the antennas back into. All right, let's tuck these cables away. This handy little tape strip left over and reinstall the palm rest in the keyboard and let's boot this thing up for Windows. All right, I just wanted to confirm that the touchpad was working, that the keyboard was working, uh, USB ports are working, it's recognizing the solid state drive. So I'm gonna finish setting up Windows on this device and we're gonna call this video completely done. So hopefully this video helped you out. And if you have a similar problem, or if you run into any trouble, feel free to leave a comment and I'll likely get back to you. Um, if you've done this before yourself and you can see where I might have uh, taken a less efficient route or something like that, let me know as well in the comments. And otherwise, hopefully you learned something and hopefully this helped you out. And thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.